Good afternoon everyone. Welcome to today's webinar presented by Chirotech Solutions. Today's topic is automated core cavity splitting and tool design module using VC. In a computer added injection mold design system, the generation of parting surfaces and creation of core and cavity blocks is usually a bottleneck. The parting surfaces and core cavity blocks are created based on the parting direction and parting lines. It can be tricky and time consuming in case of some models. So let's see how we can do it by using automated features in VC. I'm your host and presenter Sheetal Saukari. I work as a technical product manager in Chirotech Solutions for VC. I have four years of experience in injection mold design and precise knowledge of mold flow simulation. In addition to CAD CA knowledge, I have been involved in quotation to analyzing mold conditions. In this webinar, you will learn brief idea how to use automated features in VZ and how to extract core and cavity by using these features. Then introduction to tool design module that is how to design tool including mold bases standard components to shorten your design time. As a reminder, this webinar is being recorded so people who couldn't join us today will be able to listen it on our channel later. As you will listen to presentation, please feel free to ask any questions by typing them on your chat panel on your computer throughout the whole session. I'll answer them at the end of the session. So VZ Mold is a specially developed mold design tool by Hexagon and we are part of their family. So as we look forward to technology, we represent a digital thread from design to manufacturing. For people who involved in mold making, die making, we provide end-to-end -end CAD CAM CA solution for making molds and dies. So I thank you for your attention. Let's get started with our subject. Easy core cavity extraction. So I am going to split core cavity by using only two steps that is automatic parting line creation and parting face creation. So let's start the demonstration. So as you can see this is the UI of the VZ. And I have already imported the model. The model is servo motor cover and I, I have already added shrinkage value to it and draft check is also okay. So let's get straight into the parting line creation. So in VZ analysis mode click on to the split line and select your model and give the appropriate direction that is the Z direction in our case. Click OK. So by this, you uh, by using these features, you can automatically detect the parting line of the model. It may take a while. So as you can see, the parting line has been generated like this. it visible so this green highlighted line showing the parting line so now as software has detected the parting line you can see some open sets over here open sets and closed sets so for our perfect parting line creation we need to convert the open sets into the closed sets Start un unmarking the edges you don't want. As you can see in this model for core cavity extraction, easy core cavity extraction, our parting line should be from here. So we'll just unmark it. Same on the other side. sure you are only unmarking the open edges and go into the edit option and connect where you want the split line 
estuvieron. So like this, you can see our open sets are gone now. And you have got all closed sets. So like this, our parting line creation has been done. As we define the parting line, our model will be divided into the two hulls, like core region and cavity region. So just click apply split line and face color. So the region, the two different regions will get different colors as we see. You can see this yellow region show, is showing the core side of the model and the region is showing the cavity side. So just to show you, I'll just go again go into the split line and the fits is sets as you can see the model will be divided like this this is your split line so like this our automatic parting line generation has been done now our next step is creating a parting surface so go into the dynamic split line here you will see the closed sets we already created so here set one is showing the outer bound of the model the various options available here for designing the parting surface so we'll start with this area into the stored set just select the extreme of the set so it will automatically get the this area whole set just give the proper direction to it so like this the parting surface has been created so going on with that again we we'll go with the option of set set the proper direction same on the other side so next is we need to go create the parting surface in this area connecting to these two surface so next option will be we can use uh, create tangent patch so you just need to choose the two extremes of the face here as you can see Using the same option, use tangent pads. Choose the outer direction and click OK. So, like this, you can see a parting surface has been generated in no time. Just go into the faces, and you can see your core and cavity parting face. Surface will look like this. At this time, if you want any modification on the split line, you can do it. You can see the core and gravity will be like this. So now we need to add the shutout surface. Just go into the. So there is option available fill hole with a patch for only filling the holes. So we are done with our set one and so like this for filling hole with a patch just select your set 
and update it again this select your hole and update it you can do it on the one go select all sets and update it so like this our shutout creation has been done you can see Sir, has been patched now. There are no gaps in the core and cavity surface, parting surface. So we are ready to go with our splitting. Just give the thickness of the this appropriate thickness of the core and cavity, and let's go on creating mold. So like this. Our core and cavity blocks are done. So, like this, our core has been generated like this. And this is our cavity. Just giving the appropriate direction uh, height to the blocks. So, like this, our core and cavity has been generated in no time. Let's see how it is, how easy it was. Now for easy handling and machining of the core cavity blocks, we need to add the chamfer and blind. So we have the specific feature called insert cavity management. But we'll do it after tool design. So just go into the tool design and module. So by using this module, We'll get the standard mold base and standard components will be created. So it, you just need to pick the core and cavity blocks we already created. So like this. Can choose between the non standard and standard mold base. I'm going with the Hasco. Just pick your layout which you want. So, like this, the mold base has been mold base has been imported. So, I think we should change our mold base size. So there are standard sizes available in the module. So like this. We should change the height of the core and cavity plate. So these are the standard sizes available according to Hasco standard. So I'll just change in a bit and do with the other plates also if you don't want some specific plate or atom just delete it I'm deleting the I just deleted the upper insulation plate and for maintaining the ejection values ejection gap between the core and cavity plate Go into the core, uh, core plate tool parameters and give ejection opening value and injection opening value. So, as you could see, it has been. Intent. 
for standard elements just go into the standard elements tab it has go so by using this model we will get our guide pillar bushes screw will be imported like this you can see screws guide pillars has been imported so if you don't want some specific part just unclick it like this it's got unvisible same here so I'm just unclicking this so it will get removed So click OK. Creating standard part holes. We'll just go to the subtract element cavities. Click all your mod module. Simply click OK. So one click you could see our standard component holes has been created. like this your guide bush pillar screws holes has been created just need to click and it one go it will get subtracted as per the tolerance so now for adding blades and chamfer at the core and cavity elements blocks We'll go into the insert management cav management insert pick your inserts core and cavity inserts pick your cavity plate and core plate and you can see the blend has been generated blend in chamfer upper chamfer lower cavity chamfer has been created you can change your values if you want you can go with the various options for doing this like you can give drafts also you can add holes at the corners for easy machining I'm going with this option okay so like this so so just go into the mold insert elements library we have like various options over here add sprue, sprue bushing slider parts cooling cooling slider parts like plugs springs etc so we'll go with the adding screws just show you we'll start with the top plate And pick your cavity as end plate. Now just go and selecting the points where you want to add the screws. So like this, screw has been added. You just need to change the parameters. this click ok screws will be added like this 
so again go for subtracting the elements subtract go into the subtract element cavities they call model models oops like this there holes for the screws has been generated Next, we'll go on adding locating ring. So select the module you want variant of the Haskell standard. Select the face you where you want to put them. Just select going on selecting top plate. Position it at the center. Here. Cutting ring will be added. Now just go into the parameters and change according. I think it is good. It's good to go. So click OK. And again, I'm going to subtract that. Like this. has been generated cavity of the allocating ring next we'll go and adding screw bush select the variant you want start with your droplet and select cavity as your end plate as we are going to put the Push. Select your reference point. Click OK. So, so like this, your screw bush has been added. But we, as you can see, we need a clearance over here. Our screw bush face should be start from the cavity line. So just I'm going into the clearance under head the value clearance value as you can see got perfect can change the parameters as per you want the size is perfect as per our mold base so click ok next we'll be, we'll be adding the four pin so we'll just go on selecting the ejector pin Start with your ejection plate and select your core, insert as a end plate and just go on selecting the point you want where you want to put the core pin. I'm just selecting the position. It's four areas I'm putting the ejection pin. Just need to change the parameters. So like this your ejector pins will be added and the holes will be created as per this clearance. If you want to maintain the some specific values, you can change to that. Suppose I'm I want to Maintain the guiding length of the pin to be 20. As you can see, if you 
want to put the specific pin into some angle just give the lock angle to it it will be automatically created okay so like this or pins has been added then go to the subtract element cavities So like this your ejector pen cavities has been added, holes has been created. Next, we'll go on adding ejector coupler. So, since there are least of parts, let me go into the ejector parts, select threaded insert. Release plate. Start. So, now start with your plate ejector back plate select your bottom plate as your end plate and give the position at the center of the plate like this your ejector coupler will be added here and change the thread change the length of the color according to your plate size click ok so need to subtract these holes for screw bush and ejector color So like this, so like this, your screw bush and ejector coupler also has been added and modified. You can see the visible and invisible the part you want. To work in the filters. like this our core cavity extraction and mold base and core standard elements that is the tool design module has been completed so the presentation our demonstration is over now So we'll go with our Q&A session. As you can see on the screen, the arrows shown here shows the chat panel. If you have any queries, doubts, or comments, please click on the chat panel and add writing to me. Just send it to me your questions or comments. So we'll wait here for one or two minutes for questions first question is uh, is automatic parting line is applicable for complex geometry shape parts like radiator fans etc so answer is automatic parting lines is being created in vc for like all parts all parts including your complex shapes also perhaps you may have to edit in case of complex parts which you can E easily do with your edit option even you can see here in the demonstration also i i edited the parting line a little bit so next question is 
is it the most preferable method used by the designer in the companies manufacturing companies in case of easy yes this method shows how to use automated features in busy for core and cavity extraction if not you can split the core and cavity by using the manual method as you can do in the any software for core and cavity extraction and you can create a parting surface with that but obviously the automatic parting line generation feature will help you out to detect your perfect parting line of the model so again we'll end our q and a session here so again being part of Kairotech and being part of Hexagon, we'll keep developing another mold related things that we are assisting our customers with. So here is a contact information if you want to check this out to dig a little deeper what VZ and its features are. Please don't forget to convey us the feedback of the webinar. Till this meeting ends, you can write your questions to me the chat panel i'll reach out to you my by mail so the next five or ten minutes of the session will be for your questions add your game or you can write to me or call on this number or our channel's website is being given here Thank you for taking time to be with us today.